to start or I'm going to fall over. Okay, I'm recording. We're live. Hi, everybody. It's Monday, September 15th. I'm Tracy Weinsapple. I'm in my studio. Um, uh, oh, I, I will talk about that, Mary. So a couple of things. I have blue nails. Not red. Somebody noticed. I've never seen your nails blue. I painted them for our hometown football game and I ended up on a fishing boat. So they work both ways. Um, and my nails are incredibly long. I don't know. I, I'm, I think I'm going to be that lady whose nails bend over. I don't know. Just, I, I wanted to see how long they'll go. They're going. So, um, the question I just showed my wine goggles or my Madonna boobs. So these are wine glasses. I mean, obviously, and I'm teaching two classes. I have one on, if you're local, if you're not local, that's an issue. Uh, fly in, uh, September 24th are the long stem ones. For sure they're long stem. And then on October 8th, I'm going to do stemless and whatever long stems I have left. And that's going to be in La Mesa, California. So super excited about that because um, it's cool to put your own artwork on your wine glasses. Oh, how cool is that? So I was working on those. I can't drop these. So I'm going to push, move them over here. Um... There's so much to talk about, but I only get 15 minutes and then I have to be creative and I have no prep work and I'm extremely, extremely tired. It's 109 here today in sunny San Diego. And not that I'm complaining because I am complaining. And this morning I got up with my girlfriend and we rode 15 miles on a bike consecutive. Not like I, you know, my butt hurts. I'm getting one of those gel seats. It sucked. She's like, I feel fine. She's got a gel seat on a gel seat. My poor keister and I have a bruise on my butt the size and shape of Houston from a little adventure I had this week that's enough of that so anyway I welcome you I am so 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 thrilled um oh my friend Denise is online her and I are the ones who rode the 15 miles go girls so this weekend if you see this piece of artwork um I'll move it a little closer so um, Sundays, I've just been making some time to be in the studio and paint for myself, not in my art journal, but to do something serious. And I, I, I call it Sundays in the studios. I just called it that. Now I've done it twice. So now it has an official name. And this was the piece that I did Sunday yesterday. And I taped the whole process. This time I took a shower and did my hair and put makeup on. Um, so, and a, and a lot of it, you get a lot of boob because I, I had one camera angle that was weird. But I, I taped every part of this piece down to the varnishing at the end, everything. And I shared it, it you know, took takes hours and hours. And I shared the nine minutes of video. I hastened it all up. And so if you've ever wondered what my creative process looked, I noticed I drank a ton of water a ton of um, berry refresher from Starbucks and probably like three glasses of tea. I mean, I was, <laughs> it looked like I was, and it goes 10 times faster and I try to put it to music and last week's music sounded like stripper music. Um, somebody told me. <laughs> so I decided that maybe I should be doing something else in the videos. The female Bob Ross, so fun. I just, you know, I, I film, I have a couple of cameras. I film for a couple of angles. And then I've been teaching myself how to, so no comment on how bad the editing is. I've been teaching myself how to edit and merge all the videos together. But when everything's 10 times faster, it's so funny because I'm like, you know? but it's kind of cool to see the process of what, you know, and everybody says they love that I stand with my hands on my hip, paintbrushes are in my mouth. And um, I just did it from start to finish. And I got caught up in it last night, so I didn't go to bed till 2. And then I woke up this morning and went right bike riding with my girlfriend. We had so much fun. I mean, at least I had fun. Um, and, and I mean, that all, that's really all that matters, right? I mean, as long as I have fun. I, and I'm trying to do my 50 miles for the month, so I got 15 done today, and that felt awesome. And we went by a lake, so it was great. Um, but my butt bone hurts like crazy. So... Um, I'm Robin from Super Hot San Diego. <laughs> isn't Robin, isn't it horrible? Um, it's horrible. So anyway, I've got a couple of classes coming up. And as you know, we found out last week that in the month of November, I will be walking down some sort of aisle. And so those are probably the last two classes I'll teach until the end of the year because I have family coming in. I have to put together a wedding and find 
you know, I don't know, space, time, life. And, uh, but I'm really excited. I'm doing wine glasses. Three other wineries sent me emails and said, would you bring those to our winery? And I'm like, so I'm trying to fit it all in. But, um, yeah, Denise and I had a, we're like riding and I'd be turning around going, look at that. And she's like, would you turn around? <laughs> there were a lot of glistening men. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the heat is just unbearable here. So a lot of air conditioning. I won't even tell you, um, I won't even tell you what my air conditioning bill is just insane, but it's dreadful. So somebody says, I heard it this year. Yes, I'm getting married this year. Uh, we're no longer 20. So uh, we're just kicking it up a notch. Um, please rain on my parade. No, don't rain on my parade. So um, very exciting this week. I went deep sea fishing for the first time. We're getting another grandbaby. That's not raining on a parade. That's awesome. Congrats. I mean, it's not for me, <laughs> so I'm happy. That's no rain on this parade. If you said I was pregnant, that would be a downpour. <laughs> I don't want none of those, <laughs> especially since mine fall out in twos. Congrats, Terry. Awesome news. Um, oh, solar panels. That's an amazing idea. Um, so this week, uh, this weekend, Friday night to Saturday, I joined my fella, who uh, is a relief boat captain and went um, deep sea fishing for the first time. I had two pills, a patch behind my ear, and I, um, uh, in a, uh, it was deep sea sleeping. That's as Cindy just said, was it deep sea sli sleeping? So we have figured out that my gift of sleeping, it does not just on land and car and trains, automobiles, airplanes, boats. It's like a giant rocking chair. I fell asleep four times in one day, and one of the times I was right, I was up in the wheelhouse with John and the second in command guy, and I was, you know, just rocking and sleeping, and I'm going to post the pictures. I'm going to try and do it tomorrow because they're so funny, but I'm sleeping all of a sudden. Woo! I rolled right off <laughs> onto the ground on my knees, and I was like, oh my God, and they're both staring at me going, are you serious? I, I rolled right off. So um, I fell asleep there, and I fell asleep. There was this big up on the up on the deck. There's this big wooden box that contains you know supplies and stuff. And I went up there to read my book. I laid back on the way. You know we were right, driving back, and I laid back on my iPad. My iPad was my pillow, and I fell asleep. And guys were, you know, it's all men on the boat. I think there were two women and me in my pink boots. Um, but they came up and they were all, uh, you know, drinking beers on the way home. And they were sitting. <laughs> and John was down napping and he came up and he's like, my woman is passed out. And they're like, we didn't do it. And there's there are beer cans around. And it wasn't for me. <laughs> so it looked like I had joined a big old frat party. But uh, I was sleeping. I just fell asleep everywhere we went. It was great. They were the best naps I have ever had in my life. And then I came home on Saturday night, uh, 8 o'clock. John took the boat back out. I came home, smelled horrible, and um, laid down in the bed. And the bed is rocking. And, and John calls, are you all right? I'm like, I'm totally fine, but the bed won't stop rocking. And he said, don't take a shower. You could fall and hurt yourself. So I thought, I'm just sleeping. I fell asleep and I did catch a fish. If you're not friends with me on Facebook, um, I will be sharing on my blog tomorrow. I learned some amazing lessons being at sea. And I, as much as I love to teach and I love to share and I love to, I'm very passionate about art and I love to share it with anybody who will listen, obviously. And um, uh, my fiance it even pointed out to me, he loves the same thing. It's just a different art form. Oh, thank you, Pam. Said it was, I got a yellow fin tuna. And I was, I was very stubborn in the fact that when I got him, there's words for all this. I reeled him in, but I held the pole wrong. So I, I have uh, bruises on my belly and on my side and one on my butt. And I don't know where that came from. Unlike, unlike my fiance who's been fishing since he was 13 he just walks on the boat and looks you know just walks like a normal person I was completely reminded of what college felt like only I wasn't drinking it was like oh oh 
Oh, <laughs> so I hit a lot of things on the way. I hit the stairs. I hit the, um, it was funny. He, th he thought it was funny and I had the cutest pink boots. So it was, it was just amazing to realize that he respects my art form as much as I really respect her, his, uh, only with my art form, I'm not responsible for keeping 40 some people alive out to sea. Uh, I just paint pretty pictures, I guess. Um, yeah, <laughs> that could be from the love taps he was giving you. But if you would have given me a love tap, I would have fallen overboard. <laughs> so it was a giant old piece of, I have no coordination to begin with. So put me at sea and he was worried about it being choppy and he already wants me to go out on Thursday. So I'm trying to see if I can work a miracle and, uh, put my boots on one more time. I even got blood on my boots and my boots were a huge hit. So anyway, so that, I came back feeling so refreshed. I felt great. I was disconnected from media and computers and work and life. And, you know, said to my friend, can you keep my dog alive? And came home, the dog was alive. And, you know, what, what more can you ask for? So anyway, that brings us to tonight. So I, I talked about my two classes. I have two giveaways going on. One of them was just awarded Saturday, and I don't remember the name, but it was for the um, stamps from Arts, Art something. Oh, crap. Dare to be artsy. Oh, shoot. Dare to be artsy. And I, if you go on my blog, the winner was announced there, so I haven't heard from her. I can't remember who it was. The Deco Art uh, giveaway is just going to go on into September. So um, that's about it. My art journal has been a little stagnant. I did not take any art supplies on the, um, thank you, Robin. Love, love, love the boots. John actually bought those for me while he was rolling his eyes. And they were spectacular. They were comfortable, not too heavy, not too sweaty. And they looked very nice. Um, oh, and by the way, he found one of the second in command, found me a pink rod in real. So John says, if you go fishing again, I'll get you that set up. And I said, as long as it doesn't count as a birthday present or an anniversary gift or something like that, then that's fine. <laughs> I'm not sure I really want that as a gift, but, um, it was cute. It, I was, I, if you look in the pictures, I have a pink rod and real and pink boots. And, and it was, of course, his friends noticed and it was funny. So, um, anyway, um, I'm taking my art to glass, which has been fun. And I, have a great local hookup for a glass company. Aren't these glasses the best? Martini and dessert ones, hurricane glasses. So um, I kind of partnered with her to do some stuff, and I can't, uh, I cannot wait. So uh, <laughs> uh, I, you know what I, I told John, I, I need to always be myself, and if myself is too much, which then um, I would understand, but he's like, be who you are. And that's great. So anyway, I had an amazing time. I can't wait to go back out. I just want to be fishing again. Okay, 613. Any questions for me? Is anybody new? How do you seal the glass? Great question, Pamela. You don't use glass paint on it. Um, I work with Deco Art Paints. I work for them. And so they make lots and lots of, like, for example, they make frosted glass paints. This is glass enamels. They make glass pens. Um, so, you know, uh, just that class here, for example, I will show you. And we're going to, so these right here that I'm doing, um, really just four colors of glass paints. You clean off the um, glass before you prep it by cleaning it. And um, then you paint it, and I believe you have to wait 48 hours for it to set, and then you just bake it in an oven. And they make opaque glass paints. They make, um, if you, I, I mean, I don't know if you can see up here. They make writers so that you can write with little lines. Um, and they make frosted and translucent. So these are all the opaque. I happen to like the um, strokes. The marks that it makes it just makes a natural looking flower and then you just put them in the oven I think it's on 320 I have to read the directions bake for 325 in an oven and then you just turn off the oven let it cool and then you take them out so um, excellent question glass paints that's how to do it 
Um, <laughs> Angie, you don't have to pay attention. I just threw on a third because I know Lori won't be here. So um, thank you, Mom. Let me know what color you'd like your... It's so great. I have a really great relationship now with a local glass company. And so I can go in and it's be their beautiful glassware. Because I went to the dollar store and it was like crap glass. And I don't like to... If I'm going to drink out of a wine glass, I would like it to feel nice in my hand. So, and what did somebody just say? How do you seal the glass? Oh, okay, learn a lot on here. Great. Yeah, there you go. First questionnaire. I guess, uh, yeah. Uh, I hate the directions, too. In fact, you know what? It's so bad. Um, I work a lot with the media line now. Um, uh, oh, 6 a.m. Uh, uh, la, 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 la. Shelly? October 8th. Are you home? La Mesa. But you're going to need to sign up for it because she's going to put it out. Um, it, um, she's going to put it out to um, her wine club first. But it's at San Pasquale, downtown La Mesa. Great location. Inside. I just put it. It's all set to go. So you just need to sign up. Um, Two classes, October 8th. Okay, um, can I share the glass company? Yes, if I knew the name. But the deal is this, Mary. They're not, it's not a commercial glass company. She only sells to the local wineries, wineries and does engraving. Um, so I'm buying it through a winery friend of mine. There you go. <laughs> I don't know the name of it either. It's, she's out of Ramona. She's great. But you have to have a, um, like, you got to order them in the thousands. But I order it through my... Um, she just orders an extra set and doesn't engrave them for me. And that's what I'm using for my classes. So I'll share it if I could find it. In fact, funny because I painted over one of her names and one of the prototypes. Mmm. Dad, I did. I have a... Dad, this is for you when I get time to paint this. It's going to have a funny saying on it. It's a mug. I know. I've just been... Um, I've had a lot of requests to... to um paint glass and sell them on my website as a set. So I've started to do that a little bit more because um, I, I just enjoy the process. Um, okay, so any other questions? Is anybody new? <sighs> okay. I put this off long enough. I have to paint. And there's a doggy at my window. Come on in. Come on. It gets really hot in my office and I shut all the lights down so I could... Okay, my dad says wine 30, time to paint. We're going to move this over here. Well, there we go, people. <laughs> that is one big, empty. What are you guys in the mood for tonight? Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Mary, the blog post is, uh, oh shoot, it was from my art journal and it was Dare to Be Artsy was the giveaway and I think it was last week that I, it's, I, it was posted on my blog. Heather, I don't have anything yet on the mats, but I will soon. I was waiting for a response. Purple and teal are the color requested and I will, I will do that. Okay, purple and teal. Okay, you know, I, um... Purple and teal. I've been working with a lot of purple and teal. That's not way out of the range. In fact, that's what I did last night. Oh, watercolors. Oh, we had a watercolor request. I don't mind doing that because it takes back the thinking. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. Any colors. Okay, you know what? Let's do it. You guys want watercolors? You guys get watercolors. Man, your wish is my command. Actually, I just I don't feel like making it a huge mess either. I'm so tired. <laughs> I really need some good old fashioned. I stayed up really late last night and I really want to share my fishing. Oops, oh, there goes the case. I really want to share my fishing photos this, to, um, tonight. Oh my God, you know the other thing I saw? A sunrise and a sunset. Do you know the last time I saw a sunrise? I might have been in college staggering back to my room. <laughs> um, so I'm going to work in my favorite. Watercolors work too. Okay, so, uh oh. Andy's yelling at me. Oh, the mats yet, I have not been able to get them. I am trying to get where they're bigger and not those teeny tiny ones because personally I hate the teeny tiny ones. And if your watercolors ever break, I will give you a hint. This is broken. I hardly use brown, so the fact it's broken doesn't bother me. All you got to do is just soak them up and they meld back together. Okay, so if that ever happens to you, or sometimes they, like when they ship them to me, they've been cracked and I just soak them down and they go back together. 
All right. So craft mats, I'll keep you posted. I really, um, I will tell you this much as far as the store goes. Let's talk to my face, not my hands. I put on sale, the media line is all on sale. Um, I also put all the stencils on sale. Oh, you guys, I wanted to work with these two stencils. I love these two stencils. I really, that throws me back to wanting to do um, acrylics because acrylics with these are to die for. So I'm putting it back out to vote again. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. Okay, you can't. So here's the stencils I just love. This is brand new and it has a huge word art. Um, so if you go under Deco Art Media, the whole line of media, and that's, maybe I want to work with those. And um, I was loving this too. And somebody asked me to work with, is this the coffee splotches one? Andy, will you confirm? I don't know what this one is. <laughs> look up this, look up, look up the name of TCW311. Whatever I do will be great. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Well, I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. You know what? We'll do both. You know what? Nobody says you can't mix your watercolors with your acrylics. <laughs> I don't mind. And if I don't use them, I don't use them. But I love, love. No. You know what I'm going to do? I'm switching. Sorry, people. The reason I do is because somebody asked me about one of the methods I used on my painting, and I want to show that. So purple was the request. I got it. I love this blue. Um, okay, purple, and I'm hoping it looks like purple. Last week we had a little bit of a color issue. All right, we changed our mind. We're just going to make a flipping mess. Go for it. Goodbye, Grumbacker. I love you, but we'll see you next week. I have been having way too much fun, and I'm, I woke up from my tea, so I'm going to go for it, and I'm going to do it this way. Oh, um, Deborah, try um, relogging in or go like F5. Oh, that one's Dina's paint lids, not coffee splotches. Okay, so I need to find coffee splotches. Somebody asked me to work with that. All right, you know, I try to do what I try to do. So I'm going to do the background kind of how I did it yesterday in it. I think these were the colors. Should have wrote those down, huh? Mm -hmm. I think that's the color. Could be this one. Okay. So I'm going to do our background just, and I'm going to just play. No, I'm going to, it's basically, I'm just going to give this a little watering. And I'm going to use a, I really need to keep clean up easy tonight. I'm going to use a palette paper. Let's see if I got enough room to spread out here. Yes, I believe I do. Okay. All right. If it ends up going the other way, it ends up going the other way. So this is blue-green light. And, oh. Okay. There we go. So. Okay, one thing I do like to do with my backgrounds is just let it go. I do sometimes use the baby wipes a lot. You notice that. I'm just going to give these a little bit of a. Okay. I love these big three quarter inch. I use this for my varnish and it's just great. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna So I'm just going to play. And this is my process. And these are professional grade artist paints. They are more expensive, I know that. But they are highly vibrant with pigment. Okay. Hi, Andy. Paint lids. This one's called paint lids. Okay, so I need to find coffee splotches. I think I have it. I don't know if I... I somebody just sent me an email and said, would you please work with it? She bought it. She also bought the coffee one and wanted me to work with that one, which I love requests. I try to, you know, I try to do what I can. Okay. I'm not even wiping my brush off. I'm just letting it go. Oops. And let me just tell you, I'm having fun. Isn't that what it's about? Now, I can't remember which one I, I used. I think it's this 
Prussian blue hue. I think it was this one. Oh, it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. So if I'm going to wipe it off, that's kind of what I do. I hope it's, this. yeah. Okay. So this is just a darker blue, but when it blends in, oh, it's a gorgeous color. Brenda, I do have all these paints in stock. Not every single color. I only ordered. I, I And uh, some colors are selling out quicker than others. So, of course, everybody likes the colors I work with because they see them in use, and I understand that. Okay. Okay. So this, um, I'm using 140-pound mixed-media Strathmore paper. Love it. Use it. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. And this is what I do. This is how a background is formed sometimes. It's just a matter of, um, and sometimes I go back in, wet that baby up. Just want to, oh, this feels good, you know. So tomorrow I'm probably going to try and share some of my fishy photos because, I don't know, I sure learned a lot. I do love the ocean, so I'm, very lucky that um, in some regards the ocean is in a strange place for me. I would not recommend those beds though if your life, my life depended on it. <laughs> if you want to know what it's like to sleep in a pine box, go deep sea fishing and you might step on the guy next to you. <laughs> I certainly got to, But I did get to stay in the captain's quarters, so that's a little bit um, just his bunk. It's not like he didn't have a separate room. Oh, which was okay with, with me, you know. I'm not one of those girly girls just because I'm wearing pink boots. But I certainly didn't want to touch the bait. <laughs> and a marlin got hooked. I saw a hammerhead shark. I saw the sunrise, the sunset. Oh my God, talking about stuff. You know, talking about stuff I just saw. Okay, so kind of liking that, but I, I really want, you know, are we gonna go down or, which way is this gonna be, horizontal? I have to decide now. So I haven't even wiped my paintbrush off. That is how, that's how just crazy I get, okay. I love this blue. I love this Prussian blue color. And, okay, which way, horizontal? Okay. Um, okay. All right, so this is one of my favorite parts. Is it going to go this way? I think it is going to go this way. You know what? It is going to go to this way. Now, I kind of love this because... Now, this was fun when I was on an easel because uh, when I was on the easel, I could... With dumb me, forgot to put a cloth down. But when I was on the easel, it was fun because I was just spraying it and seeing where it would all go. But I happen to love this. I guess it's going this way now because this is the way I put it. Okay, so I'm just going really thick. And let's hope that this works just like it did the other day. And you know what I need to do too? <laughs> let's, let's cover up back here because... Nobody wants to see me going to shoot my, all right. So I'm going to try and hold this up, but unfortunately it works best if it's vertical. So if you're not getting the best view, I apologize. Hi, love it. Just soaking the heck out of it. It just runs down so great. Oh, see, and if you don't hold it straight, you get it. All right, let's see if I can, oh. Spray my arm some. And you can direct where you want it to go. See how thick I put it on right there? Just love this blue. Okay. 
Oh, I kind of need another hand. I want it a little darker on the edges, so I'm just going to come in. <laughs> I'm going to end up painting my arm. And I have no apron on. Don't tell Lori. <laughs> So thank you to um, Mary and Mary, Angie, and of course the boss Andy for moderating and keeping this all going. So that's how I'm doing. I'm just letting it just do the work, you know. Oh, I'm gonna spray it a little here too. Okay. Um. So now, so, okay, uh, could somebody come over here and give me, hold on. Michaela? Joe? Joe, Joe? Oh, geez, oh, Pete. All right. <laughs> okay, when you're on an easel, it's a lot easier because you know where it's going to drip to. Okay. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So let's just take a pixie. It's okay. I'm good. Thanks. Daylight dollar short, kid. And just gonna blend in what didn't. It's gonna take a second to dry, but not too long. These actually dry really quick too, which I love. All right. Sorry if you can't see. I'm just trying to even out what I want. Okay. <laughs> they dry really fast, especially when you're soaking the paper down. Okay. Seriously. You maybe should have thought of this. This is like a two-handed operation, I think. And my all right. There we go. And I still haven't cleaned my paintbrush up. So I love it. It's a fun background. So this is, I will, there's a link on my website, Andy. And this is, I, I like nine by 12 for when we're, you know, on Monday nights. I used to do canvases and stuff, but um, now I find it just easier to do this. Okay, I am washing my paintbrush off. Getting a stamp for paint, you know, I can't hold. Um, I find it makes a difference because the paper lays flat. This will eventually be pretty flat. I still want this to run down, so I'm okay. Much better. Oh. Um, this is the vellum surface, which means it doesn't mean it's vellum paper. Um, I have been asked that. It just means it's smooth, like vellum. Very smooth. Um, some watercolor papers are rough. Oh, I haven't even shared. I did do a try something with Tracy on my thoughts on paper. So that's coming up. It's all written up. I just need to get in there and post it. Okay. I'm very particular about my paper, and that is because there is a difference. And a lot of it, I think I've been asked a lot, how doesn't it curl? I protect all my artwork, so it will live well beyond me. All right. Just trying to give this a little. My surface is glass, so if you're wondering why it's coming up so quick, I have. I love the heat mats, but my heat mats took a beating, and I'm looking for them. Um, and now I just I just work on the glass. All right, purple was the color. And I use the paper comes in nine by twelve, eleven by eleven by fourteen, which is what I'm using here. And I think a small six by eight. Love it. Hmm. 
Yeah, Mom, the, uh, the colors to these are, so, there's so much pigment, which is why there's a tinting base. You can mix the colors. I, I think I demonstrated that last week. The colors mix perfectly. So if you go with the three primary colors of cyan, uh, the yellow, and red, you can make all the colors you really want. Um, and the tinting base will allow you to lighten and darken and, you know, a ton of... I, I have to clean up my work surface. I know, I know. I try not to be so crazy, but... Oh, my God. We went and looked at a house today. <gasps> oh, my God. I hope she's not a... I hope she's not a viewer. <laughs> Talking about cuckoo pants, she first off made her take made us take our shoes off, and um, which well, that was fun. You know, it's always nice to take your shoes off in a house uh, of somebody you don't know. And um, oh my god, she followed us around, and every time I flipped on a light to see a room, she'd flip it off, and I was like, okay, you want to sell the house or do you want me to? It was she was oh, so we had to make an agreement. We left with the agreement that we'll come back when she, she's not present. It was too difficult. Can you believe it? Okay. This cloth is really jacked up. I got to get rid of it. Oh, uh, if anybody's wondering what these are, if you guys have Costco around you, this is the shop towels in the men's, you know, automotive, not the automotive is just for men. Don't somebody jump down my keister one time because it was like, I implied women don't know anything about cars, but it's in the shops, you know, it's in the shop section. So this is what I use to soak everything up. And then I just throw them in the washing machine with my whites and hope that they don't land on my <laughs> socks. And I use them to dust and clean. And... Oh my God, Angie. Angie, you hit it on the head. I mean, she made us, and she followed us around and we asked her what her average electric bill was and she was acting as if we asked her what her social security number was. <laughs> oh, it was not fun. Thanks, Andy, for being on top of all the links. You're amazing. So, dries really quick. Oh, my God. And it dries so smooth. I know. It's this house hunting thing might be the... Oh, whoops. Might be the, you know what of me. It's driving me insane. And, you know, we really didn't even want to look at this house. So it was kind of like, seriously? Oh, okay, that's not doing me any good. All right. So, and for those of you who do not trust me about cleaning your brushes, clean your brushes, clean your brushes, clean your brushes. Okay, what did I just say? Clean your brushes. They will last so much longer if you clean your brushes. Okay, so that was just brush cleaner. I just throw it in. Plus, it's great because once I go to wipe up the work surface, it just gives me a final. Okay, clean your brushes. Clean your brushes. Clean your brushes. Okay. There's my background. I'm eating my paintbrush. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, it was a little crazy. 70 houses before we found ours. Okay. That's kind of, that's kind of what I'm feeling. <laughs> Maybe it's not like we're doing it while we're planning a wedding, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess we are. Okay. No, they really wanted to sell the house. They were, I'm trying to see if this is, I can open this yet. There was a lot of sun. Nope. The sun's going down. Um, I know sometimes my lighting makes things look off, but I have to have some lights in here. Okay. So, uh, we're done. The background is awesomely smooth and I love it. I love, love, love it. And, um, I, thanks Angie. I'm beginning to think that maybe we, we have alternative plans. We, we, we both are not homeless, so that's great, but you know, it's just something, huh, I don't know. You know, it's just something you want to, you want to get done. Okay, I'm going to get some colors out. All right, and I just, purple was the color I heard, right? Purple and teal. So I really, here is purple. It's called diazonine purple, and it's purple, purple, purple. Okay? Purple, 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 I promise you. Um, oh my God. And let me just tell you yesterday I used the matte medium. Love it. 
I love it. I would love to use it today, but I don't know if I'm, I'm going to at some point run out of time. There's so much I want to do. I start to explode with stuff in my head. So this is the tinting base. I'm going to show you about the color and hopefully this will look purple. It didn't last year, but yeah, Mary only in Ramona. We, uh, we have to, I have kids, you know, we're, so this is, I'm going to show. So this is a really, really deep, 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 deep purple. You'll see when I, okay. So really pretty purple. Okay. And if it looks royal blue, like it did last week, I promise it's purple. So what you do is you take the tinting base and these paints go a long way. You take this tinting base, it's white. You take a goop of it and you just mix it. What I usually do is just, well, I don't usually do that, but I just mix it from here and I don't put it all in and I just get the color I want. So that's purple. And then I can just keep adding the purple and it gets deeper and darker and deeper and darker. And okay. So, oh, I didn't gesso. Oh my God. What a dingleberry. Um, sorry. Hope that paint doesn't dry. Hold on. I didn't even draw what we're going to do today. I'm looking. Not like it's new. Okay, here's white gesso. Wow, what a ding dong. Okay, so I'm going to do something. I need a paintbrush and do it fast. There is going to be no thinking about this. I do want to know that I'm going to put the word art on here. Super huge just because I love it and I'm excited about it. I don't know where I'm going to put that, but dang it, it's huge. And if not, I'm, I'm going to go with this. Live with promise. You know, I might just do that. It's just awesome. God, I might as well just do the whole damn template. What do you think? Are we are we that crazy that I just want to do this whole damn template? <laughs> Hi. Um, I'm not crazy about this flower, though. You know what? So I'll make my own. Okay. So I'll make my own. That's what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do. Here we go. Here we go. Um... I don't know what kind of flower it's going to be, but it's going to be something. Okay. So I'm just gessoing this. And this is how I doodle. That's how I doodle. I know. It's like the most irrational way to like just come out with something. But that's what I do. That is my big doodle. I use, this is a six or an eight, six round brush. And, um, I made my own flower. I know, what a rebel. Um, I'm going to just sew this in. Oh, I hope something comes out of this today. I know I'm going to be rushing to use that paint that's nicely drying right there that I so nicely mixed up. So gesso is just a primer. And this gesso I happen to really like. I like the other deco art gesso. I just, this is a really thin. I've been having a crap load of fun just, oh, that's, that's probably not the, I just had a lot of fun playing. And these colors fit me. And I know you can dull them down and do a bunch of stuff with them. But I'll be honest with you, um, I like vibrant colors, so it works for me. And this is just a, I don't know what that is, but it's fun. One, two, three, and a, you know what, and a, okay. I don't know what that is. Seems fun, though. And my leaves are going to be purple, so good. Okay, you know what, let's not go overboard. Um, I am going to, I might use this. Live with promise. Love with passion, laugh with pleasure. You know what? <sighs> I might do it. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. All right? Don't give up on me. I like the whole template. I love that template. And I love the art one, too. All right. So, gesso is done. I just have to dry it, which I think I could throw a heat gun on it. And we'll be ready to rip. No whole house fan, we asked. Oh, hi, Kathy. No whole house fan. I'm going to be careful. Lots of locals are tuning in. <laughs> that could be, you know, here I am talking and, you know, my luck. 
So I don't know if this will, um, I don't, <laughs> okay, thanks, Cindy Lou. Whatever those things that dangle. Okay. This is going to be so simple. This is, you know, I always say don't overcomplicate your art. Don't overcomplicate your art. Sometimes, and I like this flower. I mean, this would have totally did me fine, but meh. You know me, I like to be a little bolder and a little different. Okay. I, I actually like my flowers to be me, so that's okay with me. Okay. So hopefully my paints haven't dried here. It's going to be a 10 paintbrush kind of an evening. I can just feel, sometimes I know when I'm going to have like one paintbrush or 10 paintbrushes. When I do watercolors, I have one. When I do acrylic, sometimes I end up with like 10. And I'm, you know, don't leave your paintbrushes in water like I'm doing precisely at this moment. Okay. I really wanted to get to the purple because I didn't want it to dry up. So somebody said they wanted purple. Trust me, that is purple. And I am going to show you, if you see on my palette, I mixed I mixed um, the tinting base and I am just coming on the inside of this flower, somewhat on the outside too, but there's a rhyme and a reason. There's a rhyme and a reason, so just hang tight. I'm not, um, somebody asked me, where'd you learn to dry your flowers? Um, House of Tracy, I don't even know what kind of flowers most of the things are I paint, and I don't really go outside, and I have, I can't um, garden worth a jack diddly, and my lawn is a bunch of weeds. Um, I live in the country, so that's acceptable. But <laughs> um, just to give you a little heads up, I don't know. I just like them. I like flowers because they're imperfect. That's why I like them. So all this paint right here, I'm going to come in. Oh, I'm going to keep my same paintbrush for now. And then I'll use it. I'm going to come in and just swoop around. And I just flick the brush. Okay. It's just, and I'm adding the darker color to it. You know, I feel like I rushed this. I feel like I, yeah, I'm going to be done like in five minutes. I'm not, but I feel like it. So I, I'm now using what I didn't mix and I'm just giving shadows and playing and outlining and I don't know if you can see that. Can you see? Yeah. And I'll open and I swear last week it looked royal blue. It's not, I mean, it's not royal blue. It is purple as purple can be. Okay. Promise. Promise. I promise. I promise. Okay. So. I'm all about the letting it go and do what feels good in your painting. So if if that's one thing you get from a Monday night, I have done my due diligence. I'll tell you what, though, when you're deep sea fishing, letting go is not a good idea. <laughs> I think they get pretty pissed if you let a pole go. So and then I just come back and I, you know, well, I say, oh, too dark, too dark, too light, too whatever. OK. There we go. You don't live in the country. I live in the country. Oh, no, I do live in the country. <laughs> no, I really do. <laughs> Believe it or not, Kathy can attest to that. Um, I don't live in like Montana or something like that. I, I live in a very rural, horse friendly city, which is great. And I'm okay with that. My neighbors used to have horses. They don't anymore. Now they just act like, them. no, I'm kidding. Probably know those people too. Um, I don't know my, I don't know my neighbors. They live. Okay. So you see what I'm saying? Just live it up. There we go. Have fun. There we go. Okay. So, uh, that was it. I'm going to leave that there cause I have a feeling I might come back to it. I love this color so much. I use it all the time. It's my favorite color. I think it's called green gold and it's such an amazing color. I really have to I do have to, at some point I'm going to have to wash this paintbrush off because, all right. And I'm going to mix a little darker color in here too, so. Oh, this painting is going, I feel like I'm watercoloring with these sometimes because I just kind of go with it.
Kathy's taking one of my classes. She lives local. Shelly is taking a couple of my classes. Shelly and I have been friends for a long time. I don't know if she's still here. All right. Okay. And then I'm just going to get a little bit of something in here. Um, uh, let's try this color. I don't know what color that is. Mix it right. I like to get the colors just to drop. It doesn't take much. You don't want to waste it. Okay. Be nice if it came out, though. Come on, baby cakes. Oh, there it goes. One drop. Oh. Just a dabble, do you? And, you know, I like to blend them together kind of when I'm using them just so that I don't do too much. So, I know, isn't this, you know, anybody could do this. I do have to say, and I, I need to go back and work with my Americana paints because, you know, I know you guys love those too. And I love them too. So don't think um, working for the company is just sometimes when new stuff comes out, you're just blown away. And I was blown away. I've actually waited for this line for a long time. So I knew about it a long time ago. Okay. There we go. It's a lot of fun. Okay. That was sure good. Oh, all right. So let's make sure. What do I say about cleaning your brushes? Cleaning your brushes. Cleaning your brushes. Do I have to say it again? Where's my stencil cleaner? I don't know. Here it is. Yes, I go through this, but my brushes are all soft and they last and they, oops, I have a couple more to clean up. All right. And when I'm done, I do do a final cleanup on all my brushes. But in the process, oh, sorry, Deborah's getting commercials tonight. I'm so sorry. Ustream is free, and I, I will sing its praises, and I will also not sing its praises. So, oh, hold on. I'm getting water on my piece from just being late with the water. Okay. It's a free place. I wish, um, <coughs> all right. And I oh, see I got water right in the middle there. So let me just go back in. Sorry if you get ads, unfortunately. Yeah, they do have to make their money. And um, um, Pamela Gale, I put this on my blog. Typically the next day, it might be, um, it may be the following day. Usually by Wednesday I have it up. And it has the video, everything. Oh, Angie's got a great point. Totally worth $2.99 to be commercial free. It's less than the price of one cup of coffee. <laughs> and that goes to them, not to me. Um. I have found that since we got a little bit, uh, way more popular, to be honest with you, it seems like the ads kind of, um, you know, they pop up. And I know that's because they get the viewers now. So this is a, this is a Memento black stamp pad. I just love the black around the edges, just to emphasize. That's just what I like. Doesn't have to be what you like. Okay. So we are keeping it simple today, right? That's what I said. Oh, I'm just flying high with this. I'm kind of loving it. All right. And don't forget to wash off your little um, palette knife because you want to be able to use that. And you don't want to dip your palette knife back into dirty tinting base or gesso. Just remember that. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, good. Everybody, look at that. All these, um, my, not, my moderators are the best. I don't have to do anything, and they just take care of business. So really, we got the flower. We got the everything. Um, I was going to add a little fun background. Um, I want to 
get my point, my little point brush back. I have a little one that I kind of use. And I'm going to use white, titanium white, just plain old white. Okay. Just a drop will do you. I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to flick some. Just going to flick some little accents into this. I love this paintbrush right here. It's probably one of my best paintbrushes. I need to find this paintbrush again. And if you add too much, you throw the purple back on it. You know, your flower gets to be the way you want it to be. See, I put too much, so I just go back in and say, forget that. I want to, okay. 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 Just want it to be fun. Okay. Here we go. And I do list all the paint colors that I use, I think. <laughs> I'm looking back to see what I've used. Okay, I did not, I did use, no, I didn't use this. I did not use this. I did use this. Oh man, I feel like a heart needs to be on here somewhere. Don't you guys feel that a heart needs to be on here somewhere? Sorry to tell you, but I do. Okay, so we're gonna add some in later. Okay, let's make sure we're semi dry because you don't wanna lay a stencil down. What did I do? You know, I got water all in there. What a ding dong. Okay. Really? All right. Simple. Now, what I really want to do. And I don't know if I'll be able to do it because I don't know if I want it lined up like that. I've never used this stencil its entire thing, but I figure why not? I can. This is, I think I'm done, but I'm going to move it aside. It dries and I can add to it. So, so let's see how this fits. Okay. Because what I want to do, flatten this baby out for one thing. Okay. That would be number uno. Okay. See, I want I wanted to say I really want to use the modeling paste. I'm addicted to black modeling paste. This is what it looks like. It's so awesome. See, I want to do this and then I want to do this. Okay, let's see where I can fit this that the whole thing will fit on. Not there. Oh, right there. Nope. 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 Yep. No. No. Way off. <laughs> Duh. Okay. I actually could do this and then just come back in and do that and move it over here. Or I can just put it over the leaf and stop making a big deal out of everything. I think that's what I should do, huh? <laughs> okay. I sit here and say, don't make a big deal of anything. All right. I love hearts too. I used to not like them. And if Cindy Lou or anybody makes fun of me right now, I'm going to kill them. There was a reason. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because I just want to make sure that my artwork stays in one place, is I'm going to put a little thing of tape, okay? This is, I should be using drafter's tape, but I'm using like a really, oh, that's lovely. Okay, let's try that. And hopefully I won't peel my paint off. Okay, it's stuck there. Good. Okay, I really want the stencil not to move, and I don't want my artwork to move. Okay. And this is going to take some doing. And the reason I say it's going to take some doing is because I'm going to be modeling, pasting a very large, this is like out of control. This is not even useful. I don't know why I put that down like it. I really don't want to tear my paint. Okay. I really want my paper, my artwork to stay down. That's was well, that's what I was trying to accomplish. Okay, this is not. 
Hello? Okay. <laughs> All right, fine. Why don't we find tape that really does stick? Or I'll just amend this down. Or screw it. All right, hold on. We're just a little rounded on the top. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi. Hi, Dingleberry. You still have paint that stuff. Okay. All right, let's try this again. I guess we're just going to have to hold it down and pray. Everybody start praying because we're going to need it. I want to try and put this straight so the words are straight. And then I'm going to... Oh, maybe I should just... I know what I'll do. I got a plan. Hold on. Don't panic. Nobody panic. I got a plan. We'll glue this. We'll tape the stencil down. Instead of the artwork, we'll just tape the stencil down. I want this to stay good because I am going to be... I could do this with black gesso, which would dry faster, but... Uh, I like to be, I like to be different. Here we go. Let's do that. There's number one. Okay. Yeah. See, it wants to stick to this. It'll, the, everything will stick to the stencil, but it won't stick to the paper. <laughs> these, these nails are like daggers. Okay. Okay. This should make it a lot easier. And then wherever I end up is wherever I end up. I, is this even straight? I got to make sure it's straight, 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 straight. Oh, that's cool. I can adjust the paper underneath it. Okay. I'm trying, I'm really making a big deal out of this. And I told you not to make a big deal out of it. So I kind of lied. All right, 702. But we're coming down the, I swear we're coming down the pipeline. And I feel I have room for hearts. So. Okay, there. Now we have stability. That's all I wanted. I just wanted stability. <laughs> Don't we all just want stability? Okay, we're going to try and do this really fast. I'm not going to jack around because I'm, I'm just going to be going a wide area. So this is modeling paste. It is going to take time to try. Oh, look at this. Son of a... Okay. It is going to take time to dry. I almost sent my water bin down. All right, here we go. Everybody hang on to your bootstraps. We're going to need it. So the great thing about this stencil is we're doing, I've never used the whole thing. So that's an interesting thing for me. I've only used parts of it. I'm sorry if my head's in the way. I don't, it's, I'm trying to get a good angle on this. And you scrape away what you're not using, so you can use it down here. Uh, is anybody going crazy on how cool this is? I could have done it in white, too. I do have white modeling paste. I use both. But lately, I've been crazy for the black modeling paste. I really hope. This is a vast area to be modeling pasting. <laughs> uh, I have a great margin of boo-boo-ness. And yes, I do have the stencil in stock, and I oh, I have the art one too. And I used that yesterday with this stencil, so it's okay. Now we can come down here and hold this end, and hope that end stays there. And you really don't you want to scrape up? I, I am definitely going crazy on this because I am. How am I going to get this off of here? Anybody have any ideas? <laughs> I know somebody's probably typing, you know, you can do this, and this is like a miraculous tip, and then, I, and you can put whatever's unused back, okay? Don't waste it. And you'll be thick in some areas. I don't know what that is right there, but, okay. Oh, my God. Ah! It lifted a little bit, okay. Anybody stay a prayer now because I've never done it this big. Okay. Okay. I don't know how this is going to happen. Ah. 
Okay. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm just going to take off one side. And I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray because this could be my whole painting up in... I mean, everything's fixable. Trust me. I, I don't believe in mistakes, but... Ready? Everybody, breathe. Oh, I did it. I did it. Okay. Oh, my God. Does it say? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Did I do any junk ups? I don't think so. Oh my God. Joe, do me a favor. Go put this in the sink and just um just soak it in some water. Put the, the stopper in. Thank you. Just stop the water in the sink and soak it. It's all wet. Don't get it on you. The black thing. Put the black thing in and it clogs. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Forget it. <laughs> did, anybody, did anybody catch that? Stop the water? How do you stop the water? I'm God. I can walk on it. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So look at how easy this art piece was. And I'm thrilled. Okay. I am thrilled. But this is the problem. This is the problem. <laughs> I can't really work on this. <laughs> and you don't want to throw this heat gun on it too much. I just want to give it a little preliminary set. Look at me. I find one imperfection. And I'm just like, okay, wipe it away. <laughs> and it's, it's so, so cool. And it's raised up. You must. Let it dry. What did I say, everybody? You must let it air dry. Okay. <laughs> Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth? Okay. So what did I say? You must let it air dry. In the meantime, I'm going to try and attempt something. I'm going to balance on my nose. No. I am going to attempt to do this. This is my uh, Decor acrylic paint pen. Love, love, love. Make sure it's working. I have a little test pad next to me. Okay, it's working. Okay, goodbye, Doug. This will go no later than 7.15, 7.30, so we're going to race, um, and I'm going to make sure that everything is dry. The great thing about acrylic on acrylic is it will still go, so that's cool. But I cannot put my hands in that at all, so if you guys see me to start to do that, yell at Andy to yell at me and say, stop, because this will jack the entire piece and we will never get that back and it'll be horrible. Okay, so my doodling method is one of just great, I don't care. And I love polka dots and I love, um, okay, so that's one, I love that pen. And then I'm gonna use my, uh -oh. oh, thank God that didn't have anything on it. Okay, so this is just a thinner Sharpie. I kind of like uh, just depth. And I will come in with my white Uniball Signo pen. But as I've said before, guess what we have to do? We have to wait till this is dry. I can't, you know, I can only do so much in one hour. But so whoever said purple was amazing. That's a great color. So I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to take my food ball, which is my other favorite. These are my three journaling pens. I don't leave home without them, literally, although I did go on a boat without my journaling stuff. But guess what? That ain't happening again. I now know that I can journal anywhere I want. So it's stuck in there. You got it? No, it's stuck in there. What do you mean it's stuck in there? I put the thing in the wrong way. You put the thing in the wrong way. Okay. Stuck in the sink. Okay. Don't touch anything. I will... Just run water over that stencil, please. That would be lovely. <laughs> Joe, I'm about ready to I'm about ready to lose it with you. I don't I don't take a little knife and see if you can get the stopper out of there. FYI, he's twelve. Really? This is what happens when you do everything for your kids. This is an example of when you do everything for your kids. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if we have mothers who are watching who are just totally laughing their asses off because I'm sure my parents are right now. 
Okay, is anybody getting nervous that I'm going to touch that? I really am. <laughs> if you don't touch, I love, look at the way I put the laugh around there and it just, um, okay. <gasps> I, I love my kids, but sometimes I, I don't know. Okay, Uniball Signo. Make sure you have a pad of paper around. I'm going to do a mini demo, but I can't get into this too much. If I get on this and start playing with this like crazy, guess what she's going to do? I'm going to put my fingers right into that situation. And I can't, I, I have, I am trying to be more patient in life. But obviously you could tell I am not. Freaking have twins. What the stopper? <laughs> hmm, I guess this accounts for how many times he's done the dishes. See, I can't, I can't do it. Okay, I, you know what? I just have to stop because if I keep going, we know all know what's gonna happen. But I'm loving it. All right, and look at this flower. It's just, it's happy. It's a, it's lot, it's alive. Okay, what do you think? Oh my god, what do you think? Can you tint the modeling paste? Yes, you can. Excellent, excellent, excellent question. Um, did I say that was an excellent question? So modeling paste, I'm going to show it to you in the white. Here it is in the white. You can tint it, I believe, it up to 20%, which I always laugh and wonder, how do they know, how would I be able to calculate 20%? But I guess you eyeball it. Uh, use as a stencil paste or create stamped impressions. Texture surfaces can be tinted with the fluid acrylics. Apply with a palette knife or a stiff brush to a sealed surface. Dry thorough before painting. Um, soap and water cleanup. 100% you, uh, you, you can tint it. Great question. Clap, clap, clap. Um, I don't really know. Oh, I know what I want to add. I said I want to add some hearts, and I was not joking. Okay, and I know this is going to be the point where I go. You can tint gesso. You can... You can tint the modeling paste, and that's it. We should do that. Okay, I just am going to try this. I cannot believe. So this is gesso, and I just want a couple of red hearts on there. I do. I think red will look awesome with the purple. It's just drawing them. It's not going to be easy. Okay. I have such a headache. I think it's because I'm overtired. <laughs> and then this happens. Okay, so who, ha of course we have to have three hearts on here. I kind of, um, I kind of want a heart over here. Maybe, I, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll have one coming out over here. It's easier when I could draw them bigger. Okay, I really don't want to stop. I know I said make this painting simple, but I just lied. <laughs> I just say it because I think it sounds good. Okay, I got a thicker paintbrush here. But I think red will look amazing on this. And I am in the mood to put hearts on my page. So you know what? I'm going to put freaking hearts on my page, okay? <laughs> I don't think everybody's going to argue with me. <laughs> don't you love it when you're doing your own painting? I think they'll pop on the page though, as long as I don't ruin the. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, wipe it off, wipe it off, wipe it off, wipe it off. All right. Now we need a hint of red, and then I'm pretty much going to call this page, um, I'm going to pretty much call this page uh, done, because I don't want to add too much. You know how sometimes you just get to it and you're like, I'm adding too much? Um, and I'm going to go deep red, or deep red. I'm going to do a mix of the primary magenta and the cadmium hue, red hue. Okay, don't mess the paper up. Is anybody getting nervous because they know I'm going to screw this up? <laughs> All right. Just a dab will do you. 
I love these paints because when you put just a little down, it just goes a long way. Okay, so I did like primary magenta and I did um, like red. So I wanted to have a deep tone with a with red, and that's what I want, and that's what I'm getting. So is my head in the okay. You know, I always look at my artwork and I go, oh my God, more flowers, more hearts, more of this. It's just the same. You know what it is? It's me. That's what it is. I don't know if you guys are ever kind of looking and finding out what your, what your, you know, you can take bits and pieces from this and you can copy the whole dang thing. I, I don't mind at all. I don't, um, I, I feel great that you got inspired by something we did and great. But if there's bits and pieces and you take it and you run with it and then you add you to it, even better. Life is even better. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, gal, I can't add any more, right? Just three is enough, right? I know this is about the point where Lori goes, stop it. This is, seriously, she yells sometimes. Lori, I miss you. <laughs> I got it. See, Andy's going to text me and say, okay, stop with the hearts. But if you think I should add two more, I can't add one more. I have to add two more. Okay, so I'm kind of thrilled. Okay, so that's the gesso going back. Okay, and I do. I will put all of this on my website. I promise. I really, um, Angie, I'm not hurt. Okay, good. See, there we go. And sorry if I'm not able to keep up with all you guys are typing. I try to paint, I try to talk. Not everybody likes my talking, but that's. Okay. My dad's clapping. I love it. Okay, so I, it's 717. I promised you one hour of painting, and I know I talked for over a second. And I might, I may not, but I might add every now and again, I might add some white in here, but I doubt it. I doubt it. I actually am quite thrilled. I will tell you that when I'm done with this, it is going to get a lovely, I don't know which type yet, um, it gets a varnish. This is ultra matte, it comes in gloss, it comes in satin, it comes in horrible. So what I do is I protect my entire piece and it seals it and it makes it have this nice sheen, it protects it. Okay, I don't know if that's quite dry, but um, I'm going to charcoal around the edges of it. I got to, I really don't think that's dry. No, I don't think that's dry. So let's just run a Sharpie through it. Um, no, I know that's not dry, but I'm going to finish it and, and it'll be done. You'll just see a little bit of added doodle here, a doodle there, everywhere, a doodle doodle. And um, I am, as much as I thought that this was going to be way simpler, I throw out some watercolors and we would, you know, spew some flowers on a page. I am so beyond thrilled that I love this piece. I like gloss and I love it. <sighs> I do sell all my pieces, just so you know. In fact, the last like four or five have sold. Um, and since they're original pieces and they're just small and, you know, doodles we do here, they're very inexpensive. I will tell you that much. So I'm done. <laughs> So I list this at the same time that I list um, the piece on my website. And just so you know, I'm done. I swear that's purple. I hope it looks purple last week. It didn't. Oh, damn it. Hit the light. Hit the light. Okay. Oh, did that feel good? Man. Thanks, Andy. Thank you so much, Denise. Uh, Denise said, oh, Denise is new. <gasps> Thanks, Jane. Hi, Jane. Uh, Terry said, you have my address? I do, but I sell them. I have to. Unfortunately, or fortunately, this job does keep me afloat. I love it. I love my job. I love my, love my, love my job. A lot of you ask about the shop, and yes, this is my job. It's my full-time job. So um, uh, somebody sent me an email the other day, said, I'm happy to support you. Oh, sorry, Mary. I, you guys were ignoring me. Can you tint the modeling paste? Yes, you can. 
Okay, three is good. Andy did yell at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had my phone on silent. I must have got it. I get into the zone and I just can't stop. So this is an example of keep it simple, do a stencil, and um, I, I got it out, but now it's, now it's in the water. Okay, thanks. Could you flip a light on out there? Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so any questions? <sighs> oh my God. Kind of excited. My parents are going to be here too, so I know what that means. It means dad in the studio. Okay, I do love what I do, mom. I do. I've never loved something more in my entire life. But I'm going to flip this big spotlight that's on me that's making me sweat. Okay. So any questions? Because I'm going to um, go clean my paintbrushes. <laughs> the question was, will the wedding be on you straight? No. <laughs> nope. Small, simple, easy, and new. <laughs> At least that's what I'm promising him, but it's getting bigger and bigger, but don't tell him. But he doesn't know. He doesn't even read my blog. <laughs> so it's it's probably better that way. I surprise him. We both are fun. We both love what we do, and it's great. We both do. <laughs> Sorry. There's a lot of relatives asking that same question, Terry. I'm, I'm totally laughing about it. Small, small, small. Just about the kids. That's even this action. It's November 16th. Okay. Right? Two, November yeah. 16th. I think it's dad's wedding. I think it's okay. Can you walk out, please? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Pam, I think you should wear a GoPro and stream. <laughs> Hi, cute boy. Um, <laughs> I think I, I think I better... I don't think, you know, John does not like the camera at all. <laughs> that would be funny, though. Um, <laughs> you guys are so, I'm just laughing because I, I would just love to give some of these ideas to him. And my mom and dad would know he would totally fly. Okay. He, so whatever you want, whatever you want. So it's cracking me up that now I could say that and say, oh, there is no veil, Pam. I'm not a veil girl. No. No, 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 no. Uh, just so we're clear. That is not. <laughs> Laura, kids are so handsome. Especially that one. That one's got a... Um, I appreciate the support, though, but this one is going to be a very low-key uh, event, and that's just the way we want it. But you know me. I'll share some of the fun. I always do. Okay, so I've answered all the questions, and thank you, Denise. Thank you to my moderators, and I will see you guys next Monday. We kind of have a month full of uh, Mondays in September, the four in a row, and um, I did that on purpose. I took the first week off, so I feel revived for the next, um, <laughs> oh, white baseball cap. Flowers in your hair, Mary? I don't know. Um, actually, a lady, Kathy, who was here, has a vintage store, and I'm not a, I'm not a frou-frou-y girl. Um, Thank you, Angie, for moderating, too. I don't think I'm including you in the thank yous. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm a simple girl, and I'm going to continue to be so. But the dress is gorgeous. It is. I'm still going to be a girl. But I might wear those pink fishing boots because I think he would be so thrilled. <laughs> um, okay. So it looks like Pam's sending messages to Laura. Oh, my flowers are daisies. Right roses, daisies with the gourd, and teal is obviously my color. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. I hope so. <laughs> they would go with my ivy dress. Wouldn't that be funny? I'll, I'll continue to consult you guys on the wedding plans, which I have reminded my soon-to-be husband that it's nothing. It's going to be a no-brainer. There's going to be hardly any, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love daisies, too. <laughs> and a big fish hook. I'm going to have to write some sort of vows that have to do with fishing now because I, you know, such an avid fisherman. Fisher female. <laughs> Thank you so much, Derry Brown. 
Good night, all. I don't know everybody's name. I appreciate it. I appreciate it every single week. I, I, I feel beyond blessed and do love sharing. So uh, I will keep you posted. I will hopefully be sharing pictures of my trip tomorrow. If not, I will have this blog post up uh, by Wednesday. And all the supplies I used. Remember that the sale is over tomorrow. Well, it's actually over tonight at midnight. But I might keep it until the morning. So I might not turn it off. The stencils are on sale. The media products that I used are on sale. The journaling pens that I used, some of them are on sale. And uh, I love all the, the, the fishing referrals. And have a relaxing night, lady. You know what? I'm going to go to bed early. Thank you, Andy. Thanks for Andy for keeping the boat afloat. She always does it. She does an amazing job. Thank you, Terry. Try to do it. I want. I can't compete with the big guys. So all I need to do is go around the hearts, and I'm just going to give this. Yeah, that's that's drawing. It's a good time to set. Okay. See, it's a little bit the same, but a lot different. It just has its own little place in my my art, my heart. Okay, I'm going to turn off the record, and then I will see you guys all next Monday. And of course, on the group, I didn't even mention the Facebook group. I'm sure Andy did, and. It's 726. If you haven't visited my blog, it's filled with what I hope inspires you. Uh, if it doesn't, it's filled with um, other stuff. I don't know. <laughs> it's filled with random blatherings. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. Bye, Jean. Okay, guys, I'm signing. I'm, I'm going to be here for a minute. I just turn off the recording. I'll see you all next month.